Hi, everybody. Well, it seems totally impossible, but 2017 is almost over and 2018 is just a few days away, but that's totally our reality right now. The new year for many of us is like hitting a reset button. And so you might be quite excited about what's new for you or what's coming up in 2018. If 2017 was an extremely difficult year for you, you might still be wallowing in what could have been but wasn't. Despite your best intentions, 2017 was not great for you for various reasons, and you just want to see it gone. But you're not ready to embrace 2018 yet either. You haven't quite uncovered what you will need to change to make 2018 an amazing year for you. Now, using how we feel in the moment to predict how we will feel in the future is called effective forecasting. When you make a New Year's resolution, you feel good about it at that moment. So you predict that you are going to feel good about it in the future as well. Google reports that there are over 62 million searches for how to get healthy in early January. How to quit smoking, get organized, live life to the fullest, and eat healthier are among the highest numbers of searches. I'm here to tell you and Google that despite what you may do to become healthier, if you continue to smoke, you are preventing yourself from the most impactful results of all. When it comes to, to setting New Year's resolutions, most people shoot for the moon. We tell ourselves that this will be the year we'll quit smoking, go running every morning, become vegan, or quit drinking. However, stats tell us that only 8% of people actually keep their New Year's resolutions. Now today I'd like to challenge you to think differently about 2018 and what you want to accomplish. The focus will be on stopping smoking, but the principles described work for any health behavior change you desire. Challenge number one, I'd like you to ditch the resolutions. Instead, I want you to ponder the possibilities. What are your deepest desires? The issue with resolutions is that it implies that something's wrong that there is a problem with something in your life. Resolutions are built on improving something that's broken. When you come from a place of something needs to be fixed, it's hard to stay positive. If you ponder your possibilities, you start from a solution place, as though you are already in your future and have what you desire. The only requirement for, for getting change is that you have to want something. And it takes a lot of courage to want something. Give yourself permission to have that courage to want. This doesn't mean that you can't appreciate what you already have. It just means that you would like to explore what could be at the same time without the fear of change taking over. All you really want is to align with the best version of yourself, right? For those of you who are tobacco users, my deepest desire for you in the new year is that you will consider quitting for good. And I can help you uncover where to start, but I'll tell you more about that in just a second. So challenge number two is declutter the failures and disappointments of 2017. In order to get what you want, you need to release all the things that are keeping you stuck or might, that might be holding you back. There's always good reasons to quit smoking. I'm sure you know all of them or have thought of all of them, but there might also be a few reasons for you becoming tobacco, for a few bad reasons for you becoming tobacco free as well. Might be that you no longer have that sense of belonging with your gang that you smoke with. If you predict that the future is going to be just like the past, then it will be. If quitting has been difficult in the past, then it's logical that you would think it will be difficult if you do it again in the future. The truth is that it doesn't have to be. Clearing clutter is an inside job. It starts and stops with you. Stop beating yourself up for not losing those 10 pounds that you wanted to, or for not quitting smoking like you said you would. Decluttering means you have to put yourself first, you have to feel safe, and you have to let go. You'll need to loosen the connection between the neurons that form old harmful habits and use mindfulness to create new connections between those same neurons so that the new ways of doing things, healthier things, start to feel, feel very familiar and really good. You will have to change your mindset. Now, clearing is not something you just do or squeeze into your day. 
it's a way of life. It's a, it's a total changed way of life. And remember, it's not about getting rid of things. It's about letting go of things. So let go of judgment. Let go of negativity. Let go of any regret you have. Let go of criticism. Let go of stress. Let go of disappointments. There's a saying that I use a lot in the Breathe Easy Boot Camp that fits really well with being more mindful about your smoking. And it is no judgment, just curiosity. So I'd love you to be um, in a moment with maybe where you've had a slip, for, you're, you're lighting up a cigarette and you really didn't want to. Don't judge yourself. Just be curious about what were those circumstances. There's going to be some great clues in the reason why you lit up that smoke. So challenge number three Live with ands rather than ors. It's not uncommon to feel like um, in order to have what we really want to get our deepest desires might mean giving up something else. So prepare yourself to live with ands and not ors. So let me give you an example. Either I continue to smoke or I don't get to see my friends at work. Let's change this thingy, thinking. Let's change it to I can quit smoking and enjoy visiting with my friends before they go out for a smoke. So I'd like to invite you to make 2018 be your most meaningful year yet. If this includes quitting smoking for you, I'd love to help guide the way so that you can ponder the possibilities. See how amazing you can feel without tobacco in your life and declutter your home of